This book is titled Caddy and the Big Snow by Virginia Lee Burton. This is Waylon's book he let me borrow to read to you because this is a book he's doing for his pumpkin book report. I'm not sure if when Waylon reads it, if his family says Katie or Caddy. So I'm sorry if I'm saying it different than you, but I'm going to say Caddy for today, okay? Caddy was a beautiful red crawler tractor. She was very big and very strong, and she could do a lot of things. Caddy had a bulldozer to push dirt around with. Caddy also had a snow plow to plow snow with. She belonged to the highway department of the city of Geopolis. The highway department repaired the roads in the summer and kept them clear of snow in the winter so traffic could run in and out and around the city. These are all the different types of trucks. So there's a pickup truck, there's a sander, sidewalk plow, snow loader, cement mixer. This one has a portable, um, portable pump on it. Neat. I like this page. This is the map of Geopolis. All these little numbers here, this is a big picture of the city. And on the outside here, there's little flags to show which building is what. So let's see here. There's 23 way out here, right on the edge of town. And if I find 23 over here, it tells me that that's a chicken farm over there. And there's City Hall is number two. So City Hall is right here, kind of in the middle of the city. This is a really neat page. All summer, Caddy worked on the roads with her bulldozer. Caddy liked to work. The harder and tougher the job, the better she liked it. Once when the steamroller fell in the pond, Caddy pulled it out. The highway department was very proud of her. They used to say nothing can stop her. When winter came, they put snow plows on the big trucks and changed Caddy's bulldozer for her snow plow. But Caddy was so big and strong, she had to stay at home because there was not enough snow for her to plow. Then early one morning, it started to drizzle. The drizzle turned into rain. The rain turned into snow. By noon, it was four inches deep. The highway department sent out the truck plows. By afternoon, the snow was 10 inches deep and still coming down. Looks like a big snow, they said at the highway department and sent Caddy out. The snow reached the first story windows, the second story windows, and then it stopped. One by one, the truck snow plows broke down. Everyone and everything was stopped. But Caddy, chug, chug, chug. The city of Geopolis was covered with a thick blanket of snow. Slowly and steadily, Caddy started to plow out the city. Chug, chug, chug. Help, called the chief of police. Help us to get out to protect the city. Sure, said Caddy, follow me. Look at, they're stuck. So this is the police station, they're yelling, help. So Caddy plowed out the center of the city. Help, called out the postmaster. Help us get the mail through. Sure, said Caddy, follow me. Chug, chug, chug. <clears throat> so Caddy plowed down to the railway station. Help, help, called out the telephone company and the, and the electric company. 
The poles are down somewhere in East Geopolis. Follow me, said Caddy. <clears throat> so Caddy plowed out the roads to East, jo East Geopolis. Help, called out, called out the superintendent of the water department. There's a break in the water main somewhere in North Geopolis. Follow me, said Caddy. I like this little detail of this this picture. It's so snowy there. There's people skiing over the roofs of the houses. <clears throat> and she plowed out the roads to Geopolis, North Geopolis. Help, emergency, called out the doctor. Help me get this patient to the hospital, way out in West Geopolis. Sure, said Caddy, follow me. So Caddy plowed out the roads to the hospital. Help, 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 called out the fire chief. There's a three alarm, sorry, there's a, there's a three alarm fireway out in South Geopolis. Follow me, said Caddy. So Caddy plowed out the roads to the fire in South Geopolis. On the way back, the plane signaled for help. The airport was snowed in. Caddy was beginning to get a little tired, but she wouldn't stop. Not Caddy. Chug, chug, chug. <clears throat> she hurried over to the airport and plowed out the runway so the airplane could land safely. Then after she had found the broken down truck plows, she started home. The fire department had put out the fires. The doctor had saved his patient. The water department had repaired the main. The telephone and electricity were on. The mail could go through and the police could protect the city, thanks to what Caddy did. Here's another picture of the city, but you can see everywhere that Caddy plowed. And we have what we call a compass rose here. So the way it's positioned shows it's kind of tilted a little bit. So north, the north part of the city was up here the east part, south part, west part. So she had to go to the four corners of that big city to help all those people. Caddy finished up the side streets so traffic could move in and out and around the city. Then she went home to rest. Then, and only then, did Katie, Caddy stop. I went back and forth on that page. I said Caddy and Katie. So it says Geopolis Highway Department. So that's where she's going to rest chug 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 I said caddy because I actually went to school I, I know two people that spelled their name like this one of them they said it Katie and one of them said it like caddy so there's different ways I think this is my favorite page in this book it's really neat I like looking at the maps and finding what buildings they are. Oh, look at this, the number 25. Let's see, where's 25? Up here, 25 is a dairy farm, just like Mooville. I wonder if they sell ice cream there too. Well, thanks for listening, and Waylon, thank you for letting me borrow this book to read to everybody.